Okay, so the setup is a bit busy today, but I will fit right over here. Welcome to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today with a special HDMI switch. Not because it supports 8K at 60Hz, because we have seen quite a few from Ori, or because it supports 4K at 120Hz, which is great for those that play games. It's special because it supports, besides HDMI devices, which I've got three connected at this moment, it also supports USB Type-C devices, such as this Samsung phone, which has Samsung DeX, or even the iPhone 16 Pro, if I want to mirror the screen, or my Google Pixel 9 Pro, or even this MacBook Pro right over here, or basically any other device that has USB Type-C and can support display. Now, that being said, let's go and take a closer look at it and how it works. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and besides windows 11 pro if you are looking for windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below okay so inside this package right over here we will find the hdmi switch along with a remote control some paperwork and also a power adapter so really exciting this connection right over here now on a hdmi switch usually we see hdmi inputs and hdmi outputs but today we've got here as we can see three hdmi inputs but one usb type c input as well which is really awesome and it opens a lot of doors and then we also have one hdmi output up to 8k and the power input on the other side we can see right over here the leds for the inputs one two three and four so that we know which one is active also a led for the output if it's active or not and then the auto which means that if i'm connected to any of these for example if i'm connected to number three and if i remove the cable it will switch to the next one and it will uh, give me the auto option right over here and we also have the switch button which we can use to cycle through the inputs but in my opinion better to use the remote control especially if we are far away from the device then we also have the IDID and the service which is also a USB type C in terms of build quality just awesome the usual build quality all metallic enclosure which is great not only for build quality but also for heat dissipation and on both sides there are some grills to help out and dissipate the heat and now with a setup example for the BK401C which supports resolutions up to 8k at 60 hertz or 4k at 120 hertz which is awesome for those that are planning to connect gaming devices either consoles or even computers that are meant to play games with high refresh rates now it supports hdr 10 plus and dolby vision pass through variable refresh rate dolby true hd dolby atmos and a lot more which i will leave some of the specifications here on screen and also on the link down below now at this moment we've got four devices connected three of them via hdmi and one via usb type c and in terms of the devices if we press here the switch button let's go to device number one which is one of my android tv boxes right over here and the delay that we see here depends on the tv or on the display that we use at this moment i'm using a monitor so it will take a bit more now at this moment we've got a media player right over here but if i press switch and go to number two it will uh, let me know that's our elf another media player connected in this particular case another android tv box which is not playing anything it's just on the menu but we can connect as i was saying any kind of computer i did connect on the hdmi number three which is uh, right over here on the input three led right now we've got connect a mini computer now this is not a gaming computer it's just a computer for an example but if we wanted to connect the computer we could and we have it right over here as a multimedia server or something like that but the best right over here is that now we can connect via USB Type-C any device. And at this moment, I've got the MacBook Pro 
connected right over there so via this single cable and if I want I can go here to my Windows because Mac OS we can virtualize Windows as well and I can come to Mac OS and of course this is one of the devices that we can use but basically we can connect any other device that accepts USB Type-C. For example, if I want to connect a iPhone that has USB Type-C, we will be able to connect that iPhone. This is the 16 Pro, by the way, and there we go. It's mirroring my phone at this moment, but uh, this is not limited to this device only. We can test out here another mirroring phone and besides being able to mirror a phone, I will show you a Samsung DeX in just a few moments. But for now, so that we can see that we can connect basically any device that has USB Type-C and the capability of outputting image. So this is another phone that we could use. And of course, if we play a video in portrait mode, it will display on the format that we have. Now, this is a bit... Um, funnier and a bit uh, better in my opinion of course because it's a Samsung device and for this kind of usage I can just select the phone as a trackpad for example and then I can put it on anywhere that I want and I can control my display so if I want I can work with this phone now we have covered this <laughs> quite a few times here but in this particular case it's the first time that we are using any kind of phone or any kind of usb type c device with a hdmi switcher which between being able to accept hdmi's it can also support usb type c and finally i will leave it as it is with Samsung DeX and probably we can just put it on the desktop but we can also instead of switching with that button which I believe that it's a bit better if we are in the living room for example we can switch with these buttons so at this moment we've got the input 4 but if I want I can just go to the input 2 for example which is one of my media players which is the Realme 4K at this moment and I can control it right over here or if I want I can press 1 for example and I don't need to cycle through if I'm using the remote I can go directly from 1 to 3 3 to 1 and whatnot so it's a lot faster in terms of switching than it is in terms of pressing the button which will cycle between 1 2 3 and 4 and basically this is the way that it works it's as simple as this we can cycle through three HDMI devices and now plus one USB type device which is in this particular case the number four and connected at this moment to a Samsung Galaxy S20 which has Samsung DeX capability and if I want I can control it right over here instead of a computer so really simple to use as we just have seen and we can connect our boring devices like our Android TV boxes DVD players and whatnot but now we can also connect some interesting or less boring devices like mobile phones or laptops or any other device that actually has a USB type-c port and this is one of the features that makes this HDMI switch so special which besides being capable of connecting to HDMI now we can also connect to USB type-c and I bet that you haven't seen a HDMI switch that supports USB Type-C at least until now so let me know down below in the comment section if you already have seen any HDMI switch with USB Type-C that being said hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one